Master. Uh, with the first sounds in the darkness rousing me from my slumber, I knew that our watch had failed us, and may he burn in eternal flames for allowing our attackers to fall upon us unopposed. The clamor of war, the shouts of the attackers, and screams of their victims quickly spread through town. It pleased God to make me a target of particular import. The enemy made straight for my house upon entering the town, leaving me barely time to rouse the soldiers billeted in my house and grab my pistol before 20 grotesquely painted savages burst into my chamber. God saw fit to cause my pistol to misfire, may it burn forever in hell, whereupon I was seized, bound, and left shivering on the floor in an immodest state until the first rays of the sun illuminated the terror that had been brought upon us. As my captors dragged me from my home, I discovered to my horror that my son John and my innocent babe Jerusha had been murdered along with faithful dusky Parthena. My attackers led me still bound to the meeting house. As I traversed the town, I saw many of my neighbors dead and dying in our homes put to the torch after the savages removed their booty. Although a fierce fight was still underway at the old Stebbins place, it was clear that we were vanquished. I discovered also the presence of the French from whose twisted papist imaginations this abomination must have sprung. My fate became clear as I was led, still bound to the meeting house, where others of my family and congregation, including my ungrateful and blasphemous daughter Esther, all bound <laughs> and many still clad in their scandalously revealing nightclothes, awaited their disposition. We had been spared death for the morning, but faced a terrible journey with our captors to places unknown. Wow.